Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Halloween tutorial for you guys, and it's gonna be on this butterfly eye look. I absolutely love how this look turned out. I think it's really fun and colorful and festive. It's definitely the route I would take this year because I plan on staying at home and ordering like a pumpkin shaped pizza and just watching movies with my boyfriend and my baby. So if you plan on doing the same for Halloween or if you want to know how I created this butterfly eye look today, then keep watching. So I went ahead and did my foundation and brows off camera because that's boring and I want to go ahead and get straight into the butterfly look. And I'm not really sure what colors I want to do, but I do know that I want it to be like a big blown out butterfly look. And I have some inspiration over here because me and my mom both love butterflies. I actually keep them in my brush container, but y'all don't usually see it because I'm usually using it. Um, but I was looking at this one right here. They are blue and green. And I don't know if I have a blue and green really that would work, but we're gonna just dive into the eyeshadow and see where it takes us. I did need to go out and buy a white liquid eyeliner for this look. So I just grabbed the NYX white version of what I use normally. It's just their liquid, this is actually waterproof eyeliner and it's in white. And we're gonna use that to make our little white dots that butterflies have on their wings. First up, we're going to prime our eyes. And earlier when I was putting my foundation on, I made sure not to put a bunch of foundation right here because we're actually gonna drag our primer really far out because of our blown out look that we're gonna do today. Okay, so after spending like 15 minutes staring at my two pretty colorful palettes that I have right here, I have the Jaclyn Hill palette that you all know I've been using, and then again my Urban Decay Electric palette, which is very colorful. I think I'm gonna do like a cool toned blue and purple eye, and then like a warm toned pink and orangey eye. We'll see, that's what I'm thinking. But we're gonna start with the blue and purple first. I wasn't recording, but I went into my Jaclyn Hill palette and I dipped into the shade Jada and I have that here on like a medium sized fluffy brush. And I'm actually going to start towards our inner corner instead of the outer corner like I normally would. And then I'm just blending that out with a slightly larger fluffy brush. And then I just went into the same color with a flat brush just to really get that all over our lid. Next, we're gonna use the same fluffy brush that we used for Jada, I just dusted it off. And we're gonna dip into the shade Chaos in the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And we're putting this right next to that shade Jada. and then blending with a fluffy brush. And then going in with a flat brush again. This really helps the color pay off on the lid. I'm not sure what's happening, but this color is like lifting off my eyelid right here. I'm not gonna worry about that because I'm pretty sure it's gonna get covered up with eyeliner. Next, I'm gonna take a smaller fluffy brush because I don't wanna mess up the shade. And I'm gonna dip into the shade Urban. And I'm putting this on the outer corner of our lid. And 
Next, I'm gonna dip into this shade Twerk from the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's kind of like a bluey purple and I think it can help blend this together some more. That would be a perfect place to enter three hours later from Spongebob because that's how I feel. And that is as good as it's going to get because I'm tired of blending. <laughs> Next we need to do the lower butterfly wing and this is going to be very new for me so hopefully we don't screw it up. And for this part I'm going to use this very small brush. And I'm going to go back into the shade Urban. And I'm just slowly dragging this out towards my cheekbone. And then I'm going to take a small blending brush and blend that out. And then I'm going into that shade Twerk that we used earlier from the Jaclyn Hill palette and putting that right next to the Urban shade. And then I'm dipping into the shade Chaos again. And then taking that shade Jada and putting that on the inner corner. And I actually think I'm going to go into the shade Bull Party and add that to the inner corner. Now for the fun part, and also the scary part, the eyeliner to outline our wings. So I think we're going to start with just a liquid eyeliner and we're going to use the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. And we're just going to start off with a basic line on our lashes. Next, we're going to do a line just like we were making a really big dramatic wing. And next, we want to drag this across and about halfway into our eye. And now I'm just going to make that a little bit thicker. And then we're going to do some connecting lines. Now for the bottom wing of our butterfly. And now all that's left for this side is the white. And we're gonna use the NYX White Liquid Eyeliner. And there is no way that I would be able to make dots with a eyeliner brush. So I went and grabbed a nail dotter. This is just a very small little ball at the end. And I'm just gonna dip this into some of the eyeliner and then do the dots. Thank you. 
So sorry you guys, my camera overheated and I wasn't paying attention. So y'all didn't get to see me put the rest of the dots, but I just took the daughter and kept doing what I was doing. So here we go, this is it completed. I love it, it looks fabulous. I can't wait to see how the other side turns out. And for the other side, I'm thinking very like warm yellow to orange to pink. So let's see how that turns out. And the closest thing that I have to a true yellow is going to be creamsicle. And we're going to start with this on our inner lid. Next, I'm going to go into the shade Hunts, which is a pretty true orange. It, it, it looks really red in the pan, but it's pretty orange. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of Slow Burn, which is like a corally color. And I think this will bright up the orange a little bit. Yeah. And next, I'm gonna dip into the shade Savage. so in love with this side so far and can we just take a moment to talk about how much easier it is to blend out warm tone shades versus cool tone shades oh my gosh this literally took me so long to blend and this was just so effortless and now we're gonna do the lower half of our warm wing and I'm kind of working backward in the colors so I'm starting with Savage And then going in with Slow Burn. And then Creamsicle. And then to give this side that same sparkle that we put on here with that pool party shade, we're gonna go into Queen. And I'm being very light with this because I want the shimmer, but I don't want it to make the color darker. I'm going to try a little bit of In Light, which is the first shade in the Jacqueline Hill palette. And now it just has a little bit of shimmer kind of matches the other side. Okay, now to do the wing on the other side.
And there's our black eyeliner. Now for some more white dots. And there are our completed butterfly wings. Now I'm gonna quickly put on some mascara and lashes off camera, and I'll be right back. And we are back with lashes and a lip. I went ahead and applied my Anastasia liquid lip in the color Dusty Rose, and I love how it turned out. And the last thing for us to do is highlighter. And today I'm going to use my Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit. And I'm going to do two highlighters. On one side I'm going to use Purple Horseshoe. And on the other side I'm going to use Pink Heart. And then to make them pop a little more, I'm gonna add a little bit of blue ice on top of each side. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of blue ice with a teeny tiny brush and tuck that into our brow bone. And on this side, pink heart. and also a little bit in our inner corner and blue ice on the other side. And to finish our look, we're going to use some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And just like that, our look is complete. What do you think? Let me know down below. I am in love. I think it is so beautiful. It turned out even better than I expected it to. I'm gonna be honest, halfway through the cold tone eye, I did not like it at all, but we just kept going and oh my gosh, I'm in love. I don't even wanna take this off. Let me know if you love this look, if you're gonna try it out for Halloween this year, or if you have any other Halloween looks that you want me to try out, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a fabulous Halloween no matter what you're doing. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification icon so you never miss a new video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!